So if you could only choose one fragrance designer brand, what would it be? I'm about 60% sure mine would be Chanel. And in this video, we are going to be reviewing Chanel Allure Ohm Sport O Extreme. Now, a couple of housekeeping rules before we get into the video. Please remember there are time codes in all my videos, so you can skip through the videos by clicking one of them. But before you do that, please in the comments, tell me what your brand would be. What would be your designer fragrance brand? Only one if you could choose for the rest of your life or if you are deciding between two, just tell me the two. Also, another question I need help on, guys, let me know why you click these videos. What brought you to Gentle M Code? Do you like the fragrance videos? Do you like the mixture of fragrance and style videos? Do you like the mixture of fragrance and self-improvement type of videos? Let me know, I've been running the analytics, I wanna self-serve you all. So in the comment section, maybe in a separate comment or the same, just let me know, hey Mike, I'm digging the fragrance content, stick with that. Or hey Mike, I'm digging the fragrance content and you can sprinkle in some style videos or self-improvement type of videos and I could just judge and see what the audience is feeling. Now let's hop into the video. Guys, this is a Tonka heavy fragrance. If you don't like Tonka vanilla type of fragrances, you will not like this fragrance. Now I've done a review on Chanel Allure Own Sport, not the extreme, just the sport version. And I love that one. You know, one of the best gym fragrance, everyday fragrances in my opinion. This is the old extreme. So that talk of that vanilla is ramped up. It's definitely aromatic, but it's really just sweet talk of heaven right here. So if you're a guy who doesn't like that, this is not the fragrance for you. And I think in that video, I explained that like, I sprayed this and it was a little bit rancid on my skin. I went back, I sprayed it again, because I love this. This is great. Now it's not, you know, my most favorite fragrance, but this is very, very sexy and attractive. And the key to this fragrance is when you spray it, just walk, just go walk, go, go take a trip around town, go run some errands. Honestly, I would really spray this fragrance if I was like running errands, but not just any type of errands. If I know I'm about to be around people and I could probably be mingling with people or maybe some friends invited me out and I'm not necessarily trying to wear my best fragrance or a fragrance I know I stand out with, but I want something that is gonna be like, yo, dude smells good and I don't gotta think. You can wear this on a date night as well, but when this gets in the air, especially when it's warm outside, people go bananas. This fragrance is very sexy. It lasts a lot longer than its counterpart, um, Allure Ohm Sport, just that version, but this one lasts a lot longer and this one is good. Let me get a couple of hits of this. Yeah, let me let it die down a little bit. I mean, dude, it's one of those fragrances you don't have to think. You just spray it, you know people are gonna like it. It is aromatic, it has some aromaticness to it. And that's what I like about Chanel. Chanel, the reason why I love this brand is because it's something about their fragrances. It's like Evervescent, it's sparkly. It's it's the aromaticness in them. Uh, something in that backbone that Chanel does in the, all their fragrances, especially the designer line, but you find it in their more private blend line. It's almost like otherworldly, like their fragrances were created on another planet. Sexy, it's like a sexy dude who is just, I know I look good, I'm out, I'm doing my thing, man. I'm getting stuff done. I always say that about every fragrance, but you know, maybe I'm not even getting anything done with this fragrance. Maybe I'm out, I'm out, I know I look good. I'm ready to talk, I'm ready to chill, I'm ready to, have a good time, man, this one right here. And what I really like about it is it doesn't do it justice on the skin. Where the real magic happens is through that air. When people get wafts of it through the air, man, it, it does something. It does something. I've smelt it on other people. I've caught a little bit of puffs of it as I've been walking and I'm like, yo, dude, I smell good, dude. I don't think this is necessarily office safe. I don't think you can't wear it in the office. You can wear this on a date night, or if you're you know, meeting someone, you can wear this. I think this is very sexy. And dude, as I'm smelling it, I'm kind of like getting wafts. It smells so much better in the air. As you get closer, it's just Tonka, right? But when it's in the air, it's just, you kind of get a little bit of that. You know, there's some citrus in there. It, it's, it's awesome versus like 
out here and when I'm getting in the air, dude, if you walk by and you have this on, you will get compliments. Now, I would not predicate my whole livelihood or my experience buying fragrances for compliments. If you have a wife or a woman in your life, obviously you want her to, you know, make sure you smell good for her. But, you know, make sure you like the fragrance first. Don't go around looking for people's approval for a fragrance. But nonetheless, if you do wear this fragrance, you will get some people's approval on this fragrance. I think this is a rock star fragrance. I think I spoke a little bit too early in my previous um, assessment on another fragrance, the Allure Home Sport version, um, saying this was a little bit rancid on my skin. But coming back to it, I mean, when it's in the air, it's heavenly. It's Tonka. I give this a 7 out of 10. And remember, I told you guys, I kind of, in my personal collection, I compare everything to Layton. Layton is around an 8, 8.5 for me. And then I kind of judge off that. This is around a 7, 7.5. It's just really good. It's not as interesting as Layton, even though Layton is more a niche designer fragrance. Like, it's easy. It's easy. It's not totally interesting it's it's kind of like very 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 mass appealing um this being a designer for what it is it's really good man so I, I think if you pick this up if you like vanilla tonka bean this is your fragrance and then we spray it on go on a hot summer day walk around maybe you're nice you're in a nice linen you know you're going on like the nice part of town or you're going to a mall or you're going like barnes and nobles picking up a book wear this Thank me later. I told you, you will get compliments. Before we end the video, there is a batch code 9501. It's made in France, so this is legit. You can't really buy Chanel fragrances in a lot of different places other than their authorized dealers. That's what I like about Chanel. They're a little bit more exclusive. You can't just buy their fragrances on like a Joma shop or Amazon or something. Bless gentlemen, that's the video. Um, nice, short, and quick. I don't think you could go wrong with picking up this fragrance if you're looking for a date night or just a really sexy fragrance that you could just go out and about. You don't have to think about. And it is a sexy magnet of a sillage in the air. You can't go wrong with Chanel Allure Own Sport O Extreme. I think anybody could wear it. I think younger guys may enjoy this version of Allure Own Sport more than the um, regular one. But nonetheless, I think anybody could wear it. I'll definitely be wearing it. I think it's a sexy, sexy fragrance. Seven out of 10 in my opinion. That's still really good. You may disagree, but nonetheless, tell me what your designer fragrance brand would be. Tell me how you like in the content and what you like at a Gentle M Co. And like always, gentlemen, I will catch you in the next one.